Hi, I'm Holly from rockingtheclock.com, and today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about Alba Baby diapers. Um, Alba Babies are a pocket diaper. They're known as a cheapy diaper because they only cost like five to six bucks a pop to get. And um, there tends to be two different schools of thought when it comes to Alva diapers in the cloth diaper community. There is the school of thought that we're cloth diapering to save money. Why would I spend $20 a diaper if I can spend $5 and get a great diaper? That's what I'm going to do because I'm saving money. And then there's the other school of thought that um, they're not as high quality of a diaper there um, are some potential ethical concerns with um, the manufacturing in these diapers or any like cheap made in China brand. And then there's um, also just, you know, wanting to support small American companies like started by moms and that sort of thing. So those are some of the things to consider when you're deciding if Alva is the type of diaper for you. So I'm going to do my best to give an unbiased review. I, so I bought these when a little bit before my second son was born because my oldest was not yet potty trained and I didn't have enough diapers for the both of them to be in cloth. So I ordered, I don't even know, seven or eight Alvas because I thought, you know, that'll help just bulk the stash a little bit and get me through. Well, I ordered them and I loved them. And I loved them so much that a few months after my son was born, I ordered like seven or eight more, something like that. So I had a lot of Alvas and I was using them quite a bit for a long time. And I thought, why did I spend all this money on those higher priced brands when these Alvas work just fine? Never going back. But then about the one year mark is when I started having issues with my Alvas. The seams up here on the outer shell um, came undone on almost all my Alvas. So you can see that the thread was a different color. That's because that's been repaired. Here's one that needs a little bit of repair. Um, you can see the, the elastic right there and how this is peeling up off of the elastic and over here as well. Um, all of my Alvas from both shipments, both of my orders did the same thing. I don't think I have a single Alva that didn't have a seam rip. I mean, maybe one or two, but almost all of them had this happen to them. And I was really bummed about it. Thankfully, as far as repairs go, this is a very easy fix, even for someone like me that isn't all that great with a sewing machine. I was able to fix them all and keep using them, and it wasn't really a big deal in that regard. So what I have to say as far as quality, I mean, they don't leak, they fit my son awesome, and they work great. You have some seam issues to watch for, but when you're paying $5 for a diaper, you kind of have to be a little bit realistic there. That's kind of my thought on that. One thing I will say, a big pro and kudos to Alva, is their um, elastics are really good. This is an old diaper and there's still a lot of life left in these elastics. I have other brands that elastics did not last anywhere near this long as Alva's elastics have lasted. So that's really cool. Um, but, you know, as far as a $5 diaper goes, it's great. Um, now, my thing is, if I were to start over and buy a new stash, I don't know that Alva would be part of my stash. And that's just because my own personal priorities have changed over the years for cloth diapering. Um, I want to support a lot more American brands and um, like brands started by stay-at-home moms. There's a lot of those out there and those are the kind of people I want to be supporting. So probably I'm not going to be buying a lot of Alvas going forward. I mean, my youngest right now is almost potty trained and I don't know if I'll have more kids or not, but what if if and when I get to a point I'm buying cloth diapers again is I'm probably not buying Alvas. I think my priorities have just shifted. Yes, I love saving money with cloth diapers, but you can still save mo save money over disposables when you opt for different brands, even if they cost more. So you just that's just the thing. I mean, I'm not going to shame anybody for using Alvas. I've got like 15 of them. I'm in no place to shame someone for using Alvas and they've worked great for us and I don't have a, a lot of bad things to say about them. I'm just saying going forward that I'll probably 
choose different diapers just because of my own priorities and where they've gone. And that's kind of what you have to do when you think about whether or not you want to use Alba's is your own priorities and what's important to you. And if you just want the best working diaper for the cheapest price, then yeah, get Alba's. They'd be great for that. Um, they do just come with like cheap microfiber insert. So I do recommend, you know, getting an upgraded insert and you'll get better use out of them, just like with almost any other pocket. But I mean, that's really it. I mean, for the price, they do great. They're not going to be as perfect as maybe your favorite fancy brand, but they'll get the job done. So if that's what you're going for, then yeah, I do recommend Alba's. Um, if you're interested in some other brands because maybe they just don't align with your priorities, then be sure to check out my cloth diapers review section on my blog. I've got a whole bunch of reviews about a bunch of great brands, and uh, including brands that are cheaper and will fit into even tight budgets, but maybe have a different backstory than Alba's. So I suggest you check that out at rockingthecloth.com. Thanks and have a great day.